You know, we have in the past talked to so many people that have found some wonderful relief by coming to see Dr. Sonia Spencer here on Pass Road in Gulfport. Well, we have someone else we want to introduce you to. This is Stephen. How you doing, Steve? Fine. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. T tell us um, your story. Um, if I hear it, it's quite a story. It was to me. Uh -huh. but, uh, it started probably six or seven years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I started having severe headaches, and I went to a, a, a sinus doctor friend of mine. Right. And he told me I had some skeletal issues, so he sent me to a neurosurgeon and I had an MRI done and several other tests like that and uh, he told me that he could not operate on me because of uh, I had a, a, a lot of bone spur activity oh, okay. in my neck and he mm -hmm. wasn't real sure he could help me. So that kind of started a, a road of first going to have some steroid injections in my neck, series of those, trying to isolate the nerves that were causing the issue and things like that and I never really got a lot of a lot of results out of that. I would have short periods after after they'd isolate a nerve and, and try to deaden it, but it would always come back and it seemed to come back worse. And um, I went, I ran, that ran the course and, a, and then I had a, 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 ner a deadening nerve pro procedure, which oh, yeah. did absolutely nothing. Um, the next stop was a three level fusion on my neck, which was almost a year ago, a year ago in a couple of weeks. And um, that that was a disaster that um i had some complications with the surgery i got no i got results but they were the wrong results uh, I, I was in more pain then and i waited for a while went to see another group of neurosurgeons and they ran another set of tests and another set of procedures which did absolutely nothing so i had been through all these neurosurgeons all these injections um, uh, therapy, everything that they that told me I could take. I did not want to take pain pills, uh, so I, I, I avoided the pain pill route. Um, and my pain level just kept getting worse and worse. And you know, it started out maybe at a two or a three, and then it got up to a, like a seven or eight. Mm -hmm. And I was losing the ability to do things that I had done all my life, like mm -hmm. play golf and go fishing, and you know, act, I was a fairly active person. And it got to the point toward the end where I, I could not do anything. And um, wow. The last neurosurgeon I went to told me that he, he had done all he could do and uh, that I just need to take pain pills. And so what made you decide to come see Dr. Spencer? I had seen uh, Dr. Spencer, gosh, probably close to the beginning of this process, but the, the insurance I had at that time would not, would not pay for it. So I had to stop seeing her and I had gotten a lot of results from Sonia and she explained more to me about what was actually going on. Right. And, you know, my neck and my pain levels and things like that. And I called her one day and we went and had a cup of coffee and I told her where I was post-surgery. So I came back in and she looked at my MRIs and all my test results and told me that she could, she could lessen my pain. So we started a little over two months ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first month was with some adjustments, uh, some laser stuff and some stem treatments. And I was regaining some, some physical strength and some range of motion issues were, were getting better. But I, I was just locked into this pain mode. Right. Um, and I, I didn't feel like I was getting much relief. We started a little over a month ago on a K-laser. And for me, that's been the, that, that made all the difference in the world because uh, I've been having those treatments about twice a week, uh, very quick, eight or 10 minutes. Um, and my pain level has gone from typically a five or a six constant pain level mm -hmm. down to around a one or less. Oh, that's awesome. That's the headaches awesome. are gone. Um, that's great. So it, it's been great for me. Let's talk to Dr. Spencer, find out a little bit more about it, and then we're going to show you how that K-Lacer works here at Spencer Chiropractic in Gulfport. Are those screws in his neck? Yes, those are screws from his triple fusion in his neck. It's fused at three different levels, and so what we do with post-surgical cases is we can ad adjust very gently the vertebra above and below, which we did in Steve's case for a while, but we can laser this whole area to help the nerves heal so much faster than the body's able to do on, it, on its own because the muscles and the nerves get irritated, sometimes oh, yeah. even post-surgically, even when the patient is doing well, we can get them to a higher level than uh, their body can do on the on its own because the laser speeds up the healing process for whatever tissue we're using it on. And there's, it's not gonna heat up the screws or anything like that. It's just gonna make you feel better 
faster, and like in Steve's case, take him from a very high pain level down to a pain level that he can live with. Well, let's go see how this K-Lacer works. Now, Ryan is one of the therapists here at Dr. Spencer's office, and uh, Ryan, tell us about you know, what you're doing here with this K-Lacer. I'm doing the K-Lacer treatment on Mr. Steve. It's a therapeutic um, laser that uses light therapy to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling. Mm -hmm. um, it increases circulation in the areas that we are working on, and in return, that brings water, oxygen, and nutrients to the area, which helps um, the area begin to heal. Right. Increases the healing. So it really doesn't work on the skeletal system, the bones itself. It's, it's the tissue, the muscle, and all that that is, uh, that's inflamed that is bringing relief to. Yes, sir. It can work on any musculoskeletal system. Um, I've seen it used on the neck, the back, um, even hands, fingers, knees, um, ears. I mean, it's, it, it can work on any of those areas of the body. So, I mean, like if somebody's got plantar fasciitis. Yep, plantar fasciitis. I've seen it um, work on people with tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears, uh, reducing really? headaches. Mm -hmm. Tinnitus? Mm -hmm. it, um, I've also seen it help arthritis and carpal tunnel and different things like that that, that are affecting joints and different mm -hmm. parts of the body and that such. Now, is he feeling anything? Any, any pain um, or, or you know? What he's feeling right now is a tingling sensation and a little bit of a warmth because the laser's just so powerful that right. he's getting a little heat off of it. But it's not an invasive type thing. It's non-invasive. It's not going to cause him any pain. Um, and usually it starts working right away on it. It kind of kind of works like a uh, an antibiotic. Uh, the more therapies he gets, the better he's going to feel as he goes. Right, but he'll feel pretty much some immediate relief when he's done with this. With he his will. Visit. He will feel some immediate relief, Jim. Um, he'll feel some relief within the first two to three hours after getting it. Really? Mm -hmm. And I imagine that. I mean, we were talking to him earlier. He was talking to Steve. You're talking about you know, having to be on pain pills and all that. I'm sure this is gonna alleviate a lot of those pain, the pain that he's been having. So he'd cut out the pain medication. Yes, sir. Um, there's plenty of patients that do eliminate the use of medications. They come in with a laundry list is what we call it. Wow. Of medications and they reduce that greatly by the end of their therapy. Well, thanks Ryan, I appreciate it. Thanks Steve for telling us your story. Again, if you'd like some more information about this, you're having some issues or something and you're trying to find some relief you can find a lot of great different things here. We've shown them to you in the past. Call Dr. Spencer's office. The number is on your screen. Set up an appointment. She's located right off of Pass Road in Gulfport, right across from Pass Road Elementary School. So if you want to get some relief, give them a call here at Spencer Chiropractic.